Welcome back. Let's pull up the stock of Delta Corp because uh, it appears that there is some progress in the sale of Advani Hotels. Yes Bank has been appointed as the merchant banker. So let's pull up the stock of Delta Corp and see if there is any reaction to that. Yes, indeed, the stock is shot up, currently up close to about 4%. So some movement on the stake sale of Advani um, Hotels. But um, they've just explored the possibility of selling it. But let's move on. Padisha Biotech is the other one which is up in trade. It's one of India's leading research-based health management companies. They've entered into a collaboration with rising pharmaceuticals in the U.S. Rajesh Jain, the joint MD of Panisha Biotech, now joins us on the phone line. Afternoon, uh, Mr. Jain, and thanks for joining in. Um, we understand that Panisha Biotech will receive an upfront research fee on when you get the FDA approval. Um, what is going to be this um, quantum of this research fee? Will it be fixed? Walk us through the details. All right. Uh, thank you very much, first of all, for calling me on your channel this afternoon for this interaction. Uh, basically, this collaboration uh, is for an oral control release product which uses Panacea Biotech's platform oral drug delivery technology. And the dosia has actually already been filed and is currently under review by US FDA. And as uh, per the agreement, we will be receiving an upfront research fee uh, post signing this agreement, which was done yesterday. And uh, uh, close to $750,000 uh, will be received this month. And uh, uh, apart from that, I believe the whole potential of this product is close to uh, $300 million when we see the innovator sales uh, as of now. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we will have some uh, competition in this line as well. And when you look at the total uh, Panacea Biotech earnings on all the R&D collaborations that we have done to mm -hmm. date, we expect um, uh, all these alliances to translate into a potential of US dollar 13 million as uh, uh, various milestone payments which will be received by the company over the next uh, uh, 18 months. Okay. Mr. Once we uh, meet the timelines. Mr. Jain, uh, when do you expect FT approval for this drug? The first uh, drug that we, uh, uh, this one should happen sometime next year or early 2016. And uh, the second one uh, should come out uh, somewhere around uh, July 2016. And the third one around uh, September 2017. So okay. how much would you expect in terms of milestone payments um, beyond this R&D fee that you spoke about? What is the structure in terms of milestone payments or any sort of see going forward from this particular agreement? Uh, okay, you know, as I said that, you know, the total end-to-end -end, um, potential of receiving US, US dollar 13 million is the total fee that we expect. However, out of that, 2.5 million US dollars have already been received by us so far. Yeah. And 1 million dollars uh, would be received in the current quarter. What is the remaining uh, contingent on? Uh, these are uh, basically uh, de dependent upon the, you know, undertaking of the bio studies and then uh, putting together the dossier and filing. Okay. So those will be the two additional milestones that we need to achieve. And if we get into the first to file opportunity, so that also is linked to a milestone payment. You've indicated in the release that profits will be shared in a predetermined ratio. What is this ratio? Okay, uh, oh, the arrangement that the company generally does is uh, uh, we tend to manufacture the product and transfer the product at cost to the uh, uh, partner mm. and then they sell the product. So uh, once the complete margins are arrived at, which is profit for both the companies put together, then we share the profits in ratios for one company we have 50-50 as the profit sharing. For the others, we have different ratios depending upon how much uh, they share in terms of the upfront fees. Okay. So you arrive at different models with different companies. Okay, Mr. Jain, I just wanted to get one thing clear. This is not a new chemical entity. This is a generic version of a drug that exists? Uh, yeah, these are all uh, generic drugs, but they are very yeah. complex uh, in terms of their complete uh, development. And therefore, uh, Panacea Biotech relies on its own platform oral drug delivery technologies to do that. So how many so you competitors would you see um, if in case the drug is already genericized? I, you did mention an FTF, so I'm assuming it's not. But um, can you just give us a sense in terms of what the drug is, what the size of the drug is, what the size of the market is? Uh, currently, this is yet not available in the market as a generic drug. So okay. the patents will go off in, uh, you know, times to come. 
So we do expect that either we will be the among the top three to launch or at least among the top six. Okay. And currently, uh, the product, uh, which is what this is what we are talking about today under collaboration, has a market size of close to uh, US dollar three hundred million in US market, uh, which is the innovator size. So uh, as soon as the generous comes, so all of us will share that market. So would this would this tie up be similar to what you had with Apotex, which you signed a couple of days ago? Uh, yes, uh, this is something very similar to Apotex, but then the product range is completely different. That is more on injectable products, and this this is focused on uh, oral products. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Jain, we leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and talking to us. So that's Panacea Biotech. That stock is holding up quite well, up around 9 to 10 odd percent in today's trading session. Take a break. The Cabinet has cleared the Constitutional Amendment Bill for the Goods and Services Tax. The bill is likely to be tabled in Parliament.